Welcome Capricorns. I'm back with another video for you guys. I hope all is well. I know it's been uh, a while since I've posted. So let's get back into the groove of things. We are in October. <laughs> October, baby. I love fall. Fall is like my favorite season. Besides spring, because spring, that's when my birthday is in spring. But I love the energy that of fall. Like it's just so witchy <laughs> i just love it like and it also reminds me of you know things that are no longer um working for us um you know just like how leaves fall from the tree okay like release a release and i love that energy hence the fact that we got a full moon energy today yes 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 full moon all right love that energy Okay, so it's time to release um, and let go of some things that no longer, you know, is residing with us or is aligning with us. Okay, so let's talk October. All right, let's see what we get for the Capricorn for the month of October. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. We would love to have you here with the Empress Empire. All right. Share with your family and your friends. Guys, go ahead and hit the like button so we can make sure that we're keeping these videos in rotation, okay? Because a lot of people are telling me that they haven't been getting the notifications, okay? So, let's see what we get, guys. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. October for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages are there for Capricorn? Give me a message for Capricorn, please. All right, we got the Page of Wands, the Five of Cups. Page of Wands, Five of Cups. Okay, the King of Cups, the Tower. Did y'all just get some shocking news? Okay, oh wow. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, the Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Justice card. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Empress. All right, so very beautiful energy here. Um, the Empress card is the mother card. We got the mother and the father card here that's poking out. <laughs> so you could be dealing with, uh, you know, a, a baby mother, or baby father. There could be children involved, especially here with this Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Yeah. And the star card. Yeah. Someone here could be pregnant or there's conversations about that with that page of wands. Is this the shocking news? Like I'm getting like you guys getting some shocking news. Um, definitely I'm getting like a mother and children for sure. And this Empress and the star card could most definitely be a pregnancy. Okay. What's going on here? Like I'm getting like, you didn't see something coming. You got some shocking news. Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? The Nine of Swords, yeah. Like you're anticipating or you're feeling nervous about a situation. Yeah, I'm like you're preparing. Like you're preparing for something with the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, like you're preparing for something. Yeah. Maybe you weren't playing or you weren't ready for this news but you know now that this news is here it's like okay you know i gotta get ready why is the nine of swords here the queen of cups <laughs> pisces cancer scorpio you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio yeah, like you just got some clarity on something. Like you just found out something. You just heard something that was like you were surprised. Like what? What? 
What? Yeah. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Death card. Yeah, see, look at this. You don't want to regret something. Um, and then, see, look. Oh, my God. This is about a pregnancy. Okay? We got the Empress and the Sun. This is the ultimate pregnancy cards. Is someone pregnant? Did you find out that someone is pregnant? Are you trying to get pregnant? Like, I'm just getting like, you know, this is ex exciting news. Okay? Like this, you feel like the universe is in your favor. Like this is working out in your favor. Yes. Some of you guys live at a distance from this person. Look at this. Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Yeah. This is like a long distance. Or they don't have to be like really, really far from you. But this is like, you know, a distance. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting like... You may not, you may have not been in a relationship with this person because I got the Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So a relationship ended, but did you find out that you were pregnant? Um, something to that nature? Yeah, I'm getting like making the first move. Wow, this is, what is this? Why is the Tower card here? Wow. Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Queen of Wands. Somebody here would be devastated. Or just like, I'm just getting like, you're surprised. But it's kind of like, also kind of like a lot. Maybe you want a daughter. Or someone wants a daughter. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Seven of Cups. Oh. I see. <laughs> okay, so you would, this is what I see, how I feel and how I'm viewing it. You would feel like you would have to drop every, all of your other options because this news would be, you know, a big deal. It'll be a big deal. Like, it'll be a big deal. Um, Yeah, especially if this truth comes out. If this, when this truth comes out, it's going to be a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, why is the King of Cups here? I got Pisces' as energy. Eight of Cups and the King of Cups. Eight of Cups is Pisces. King of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh, okay, a lot of cards want to come out. I'm getting like you you were kind of isolated or some of you dealing with the Virgo. Oh, okay. So, wow. There was a conversation here. Um, someone was very honest with the Hermit and the Ace of Swords. There's a very honest conversation here. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The world. Okay. Maybe you thought that this chapter was over with that Eight of Cups in the world. You thought you closed this chapter with this water sign? For some of you, this is definitely a water sign. I got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Very much so. Both. Of, I feel like this is like a twin flame energy or soulmate energy. Um, you two are really, really like care for each other, love each other, the emotions and all that that is there. But I feel like you closed the chapter with this person before. But, you know, a conversation, a deep conversation has brought come, come up. Someone could find out that they are pregnant or someone wants to be pregnant or someone's dealing with someone's baby mother or baby father. I'm just getting that type of energy. Why is the Ten of Cups here in the past? Six of, six of Pentacles. And the, yeah, like I'm getting like, we got the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands again. This is definitely like a long distance. Like, yeah, I'm getting long distance. Um, a long distance relationship with the Ten of Cups. I'm getting in a long distance relationship. Are some of y'all in a long distance relationship? Like, maybe y'all been talking to your friends about it with the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. 
I'm getting like this. This energy is definitely like you know when you guys get together, y'all have y'all have a good time together. Y'all flirt a lot. Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's going back and forth. The Two of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Somebody keeps returning to you guys. Keep returning to each other. And look at this: the Sun and the Four of Wands. Yeah, like this is like when y'all get together. It's y'all vibes are everything. Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. Wow, I'm getting like some of you guys are in a long distance relationship with somebody. Why is the emperor here? The hermit, okay? Hermit and... Hermit and the emperor. I'm getting an older guy here. Um, could be an older guy. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a new family. Look at this. Or a new found... It's like there's something here about some... Uh, family a new family foundation building a foundation with that ace of cups and the ten of pentacles um maybe this is something that you've been trying to block out of your mind but it's presenting itself okay with the ten of pentacles and the ace of cups why is the hermit here king of pentacles you guys is energy yeah i'm getting like somebody here is looking for somebody who is um very mature wise and financially stable before someone makes this move or move forward yeah there's about balance finding a balance in these okay the five of swords why is the five of swords here i'm getting oh, i'm getting three kids here the three of swords the knight of swords the five of swords, the kids can be very, very active, like, you know, but I'm getting three, yeah, somebody wants three kids, I'm getting like you guys are possibly wanting to have um, a child, I'm definitely getting that, yeah, look at this, the eight of pentacles, the king of wands, the ace of cups, definitely like a new, um, this is a lot of passion you have for this person. You guys are having a lot of good uh, romantic times together. And I'm getting like someone wants three. I'm hearing three. I'm seeing the number three. Three children. Three kids. How the other person views it is five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? They may feel, yeah, see, we got the high priestess and the devil five of wands they may feel like this is going to start some conflict um with the fool and the five of wands they feel like this is going to start some conflict um and i feel like they may feel rejected like they they may feel like you know with the five of pentacles this is rejection you know feeling left out in the cold being alone or you know feeling abandoned okay their intuition here you could definitely be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer with this High Priestess. Lots of water energy here. Um, the High Priestess and the Devil. Like, their intuition is telling them that, you know, maybe it's, it's you know, not so good of an idea. They're thinking of, like, things in the worst, the bad scenario, like the bad side to it. Why is the Devil here? The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe they also feel like maybe this will tie you two guys together, like trying to uh, find a way to attach themselves to you or you to them. Yeah, the love that you guys have for each other is so strong. We got the lovers in the chariot. But they, I do feel like they want to do it. Um, they just aren't. There's, there's just kind of like you know what ifs the what ifs okay and in your hopes and fears we got the ace of wands so definitely i do feel like you know you're ready to this is you know sexual energy this is the sexual energy why's the ace of wands here the knight of pentacles you guys it's energy yeah see you're for it the six of wands the six of wands and the ace of wands so this is definitely like a hell yeah 
So you're hoping for a positive test if someone's coming out and saying like, you know, maybe I could be. Um, yeah, this would, oh my gosh. The sun, the six of cups and the four of wands, this would be like a happy home. Like you feel like this would be good. Like I feel like you have a very, you feel really good about it. Mine's a justice card here. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be a Libra. Okay, I'm getting a family. This could be someone's family, family member. But I feel like uh, somebody's going to possibly kind of like standing in the way. Okay, with the nine of wands, they're saying that somebody is like guarding, guarding this or in the way of trying to not have this happen. Um, yeah, because see, look, we got the king of swords here as well, too. Someone may feel like someone's trying to keep a hold on them or keep tabs on them. Why is the queen of swords here? Yeah. Yeah, see, somebody doesn't want this to happen. See, look, with the four of cups here. The Four of Cups is saying a no, you know, disappointment, disappointed. So someone here could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, preferably, preferably a Libra because I got the Justice card here. This is Libra's energy. Queen of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius's energy. But somebody will be disappointed. I see, like, I feel like someone... Um, it's trying to get someone to change their mind. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yep, I just said it. Yep. Knight of Pentacles and the Judgment. Yep. Somebody doesn't like this decision. Why is the Judgment card here? Yep. Mm-hmm. The Star. Could be an Aquarius. Somebody feels like someone, yeah, like I said, somebody here is all against this, okay? Somebody here is against this happening. With the Seven of Wands, look at how defensive this energy is. Somebody feels like you may not be ready for this. Or somebody feels like, you know, this person is trying to trap you. I'm getting somebody wants, feels like somebody wants you all to themselves. The Nine of Cups and the Temperance and the Nine of Pentacles. Um... Yeah, and see with this energy here with this five of wands and the chariot, this is definitely saying someone is like starting conflict. But I feel like you already know that this is going to, this could possibly start conflict. Why is the star card here? Two of cups, king of wands. There us go. It's a lot of people here that's against this. And I feel like it's more than one, more than one person. It could be three or more people that are possibly going to try to work together to kind of see this not go through. But the thing about this is, are they there in the bedroom with you guys when you guys are making this decision? Or, you know, like, I don't get how they're going to say, how they're going to intrude, like, they're there with you while this is going on. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, this is a very specific read. Let's see what advice we have for Capricorn. Well, this wanted to jump out. We got warrior, warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Okay, give me another for Capricorn, please. This is a, that further lets me know that this may be a battle. Okay, the age of light. You've been training for this for a lifetime. But look, this situation is divinely orchestrated. If it's happening, it's possibly more than likely meant to happen. Um, it's divinely orchestrated. Okay, give me one more card. Oh, we got a yes. Just say yes. Trust your path. So if you feel like this is something that you want and you're ready and prepared for this, trust your path. The answer is yes. Okay. Then we got, not only do we have trust your path, we got trust your niggle. 
which is what is triggering what is niggling, what is that niggling feeling trying to tell you this is also like the high priestess card what is your intuition telling you about this situation okay trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do what would you do if you knew that you would be supported what would you do if you weren't being supported okay i do want to clarify a few of these i do want to clarify warrior woman here why is warrior woman here the death card this is saying that it's not going to be easy king of swords i feel like someone's trying to manipulate you um here as well too or trying to change or shift your view because i got a lot of people saying that you'll regret it or hope you don't regret it because see we got the emperor here and the six of wands and the ace of wands so this is saying like someone here could is possibly like a very mature very good uh father figure okay or could possibly be a great father figure but then you got someone over here we got the death card which is scorpio's energy Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Lots of air energy. Um, I feel like that's the energy that's coming towards you because the similar cards that are coming out is definitely like someone, it's a group of people, you know, that I feel like aren't a welcoming this situation. We got the five of cups. It's like, you know, you know what? You're going to end up regretting it. Why is the five of cups here? Yeah. Ten of Wands, like I said, I don't feel like these people want this to happen. I feel like this is something that you may want to, you know, want to see come to fruition. Um, but you got a lot of people around you that don't, okay? Yeah, they may want to see you in something new with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. They may want you to um, do something different, do something new, a new relationship. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Um, they may want you to, you know, keep juggling, stay focused on work. They may feel like, you know, it'll deter you, detour you. Yeah. All right. So we got the age of light. Page of cups. Two of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna you're undecided on whether or not you want to tell, um, give details on this situation. Here we go again with that justice card. Somebody here is definitely feeling like something isn't fair or isn't balanced. Um, that justice card is Libra's energy. Yeah, I'm getting like someone here could be looking for other people's approval. You could be looking for other people's approval. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to get that, especially not right off the bat. Why's the Ace of Swords here? Three of Wands. I feel like you may bring it up just to see how someone is going to respond. Um, yeah. You may get tired of them uh, looking down or talking negative. Why is yes here? Why is yes here? Eight of Cups. Pisces is energy. But see, this is someone abandoning a situation, leaving somebody heartbroken um, with the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords here. The Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. I'm getting like someone could possibly have more than one or two children. I'm getting like uh, three or more children. Why is the Eight of Cups? Yep, see, there we go again with this Empress. Okay, the Eight of Cups um, and the Hierophant. You want to make the right decision. You want to make a good choice. You want to make a good decision with the magician and the fool and the lovers. Your intuition with the high priestess and the chariot could be telling you to go ahead and move forward. Um, we got you here with the devil energy, the emperor. Yeah. Maybe you're trying to, you know, surprise people with this. Um and I'm getting a, a congratulations, even with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. I'm getting, like, a congratulations from a lot of people, like, being, um, 
getting a lot of likes on social media or things of that nature um, for your decision making. Okay, for for this this role um, that's being you know that you're going in. Why's the power in here? I'm getting towards this energy. Someone's mother. See, there we go again. That star card. Didn't I tell you the Empress and the Star? It's very much so a pregnancy here. Why is the star card here? The nine of cups, like I said. Someone wants to have a baby. Yeah, I'm getting someone's going to the doctor to see what they say. The hangman, the knight of wands, the hangman, the three of pentacles, the two of wands. I'm getting like someone's making an appointment, waiting to see what is going to be said. So somebody could be going to see a fertility doctor. Um, but I'm just getting like somebody wants to have babies. That's the nine of cups. Yeah, from, from you. <laughs> somebody wants to have... You want to have a baby, or they want to have a baby. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, look at that. All right, guys. So, if you guys have already found out that you're expecting and you're happy about it, I hope you would be happy about it. Congrats. All right, for the ones that are trying to um, have a baby, I hope you're able to accomplish your goals. Um, that was a very beautiful read, okay? Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.